to two projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project Autonomous Landing Scene Recognition Based on Transfer Learning for Drones. Introduction The project focuses on advancing the capabilities of drone technology by addressing a critical aspect, autonomous landing scene recognition. Drones have become indispensable in various fields from surveillance to parcel delivery. However, ensuring safe and accurate landings in diverse and dynamic environments remains a significant challenge. This project aims to employ state-of-the-art artificial intelligence techniques to enhance the landing capabilities of drones, particularly in emergency situations. The primary objective is to develop an intelligent landing scene recognition system that allows drones to autonomously analyze and identify suitable landing spots in real time. Leveraging the power of deep learning, convolutional neural networks that is CNNs and advanced image processing, the project aims to create a robust algorithm capable of distinguishing various landing environments. Special emphasis will be placed on addressing challenges unique to emergency scenarios where predefined landing marks may not be available. And the significance of this project lies in overcoming a critical bottleneck in drone autonomy. While current drone technologies excel in planned routes and non-emergency conditions, the lack of a reliable autonomous landing system poses a safety risk. By enabling drones to intelligently recognize landing scenes, we not only enhance their overall autonomy but also ensure safer operations in emergency situations. This technology holds immense potential in applications such as search and rescue missions, surveillance and logistics, where prompt and safe landings are paramount. So the beneficiaries of this project are widespread and include industries utilizing drone services for surveillance, news reporting, parcel delivery, and beyond. Emergency response teams, law enforcement, and logistics companies stand to gain significantly from improved drone autonomy. Additionally, the general public will benefit from enhanced safety measures during drone operations as the technology ensures accurate decision-making in unforeseen circumstances. Ultimately, this project contributes to the broader goal of achieving complete drone autonomy and intelligence. Objective of the project. So, as I mentioned earlier, the primary objective of the project is to implement transfer learning using the RIS Next 50 model as a backbone for deep convolutional neural networks. The goal is to leverage the knowledge transfer capabilities of a pre-trained REST Next 50 model to enhance the autonomous landing scene recognition for drones. Specifically, the project aims to improve the accuracy and efficiency of recognizing diverse landing environments by fine-tuning the REST Next 50 model. And we aim to evaluate and compare the performance of REST Next 50 with the ADAM optimizer against ResNet 50 with Adam Optimizer. This objective aims to determine the superior model for autonomous landing scene recognition, considering factors such as accuracy, efficiency, and adaptability to diverse environments. Another key objective is to evaluate the performance of different optimizers during the training process. The project compares the adaptive momentum that is Adam Optimization algorithm with the momentum Stochastic Gradient Descent, that is SGD Optimizer. By assessing the accuracy and convergence speed of the ResNext 50 model with each optimizer, the project aims to identify the most effective optimization approach for the autonomous landing scene recognition task. And the project recognizes the challenge of novelty detection in the classifier, especially when dealing with scenes that may not be suitable for landing. To address this, the objective is to implement a threshold approach during the prediction stage. By establishing a threshold, the system aims to exclude scenes that do not match predefined landing categories. This step enhances the reliability and precision of the autonomous landing decision making process. Requirements needed to execute this project are Software requirements Software needed is Anaconda Primary language used is Python Frontend framework used is Flask. Backend framework used is Jupyter Notebook. 
database used is SQL Lite 3 and front end technologies used are HTML, CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap 4. Hardware requirements needed are operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Now we'll discuss the working modules of law of work. So the first step is importing required packages. In this step, essential Python libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, SKLearn, TensorFlow, Keras, Matplotlib, and Seaborn are imported. These libraries provide tools for data manipulation, machine learning, deep learning, and visualization, setting the foundation for subsequent tasks. The second step is exploring the dataset. So here, the dataset consisting of images depicting eight different landing scenes is explored. Various landing scenes are identified and displayed. A function is defined to extract class labels from scene names, facilitating the classification task during model training. The third step is visualization using Seaborn and Matplotlib. So here Seaborn and Matplotlib are employed to visualize the distribution of landing scene images in the dataset. The x-axis represents the landing scene names, while the y-axis indicates the count of images for each scene. This visualization aids in understanding the dataset's composition. The next one is image processing. So pre-processing tasks are performed on the images in this step, including normalization to standardize pixel values and shuffling to ensure a random order of images, preventing any sequence bias during model training. The next step is train and test split. In this step, the dataset is divided into training and testing sets to evaluate model performance on unseen data. This step is crucial for assessing the model's generalization ability. The next step is training and building the model. So here, two deep learning models, ResNext 50 and ResNet 50 are trained using the dataset. The models incorporate convolutional neural networks and the Adam optimizer for efficient learning. The goal is to develop accurate landing scene recognition system. And in the next step, as an extension to the project, a hybrid model is introduced combining the strengths of ResNext 50 and an ensemble random forest. So this hybrid approach aims to enhance overall prediction accuracy. And as an extension again, a Flask web application is created incorporating SQLite for user authentication. So users can sign up and sign in to access the landing scene prediction functionality. This ensures a secure and personalized experience for individuals interacting with the system. So after signing in, users input images. Upon receiving user input, the data undergoes pre-processing. Trained models make predictions based on the provided input and the final outcomes such as the recognized landing place, example building, water area are displayed through the front-end interface. Now we'll understand about the algorithms used. So the first algorithm built is ResNext 50 with Adam Optimizer. So ResNext 50, an extension of the ResNet architecture, introduces the concept of cardinality, enabling the simultaneous learning of diverse features by splitting input data into multiple parts. This deep convolutional neural network excels in capturing complex patterns and variations within images. Paired with Adam Optimizer, ResNext 50 adapts its learning rates dynamically, ensuring efficient convergence during training. In the context of landing scene recognition, its ability to grasp intricate details makes ResNext 50 with Adam a suitable choice for achieving high accuracy in classifying diverse landing environments. The next one is ResNet 50 with Adam Optimizer. So ResNet 50, a member of the ResNet family, leverages residual learning to train very deep neural networks effectively. Residual connections facilitate the learning of residual functions addressing the vanishing gradient problem. With its deep architecture, ResNet 50 captures hierarchical features crucial for image recognition tasks. Utilizing the Adam Optimizer, ResNet 50 adapts learning rates based on the optimization landscape, contributing to efficient training. 
in the domain of landing scene recognition resnet 50 with adam proves to be a powerful combination for robustly learning and classifying intricate scene patterns now we'll see the comparison graphs so this is the horizontal bar graph comparing accuracy scores of different algorithms in this graph on x axis i have accuracy scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so accuracy measures the overall correctness of predictions showing the percentage of correctly classified instances this is precision scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have precision scores and on y axis i have algorithm names precision measures the accuracy of positive predictions indicating how many predicted positives were actually correct this is recall scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have recall scores and on y axis i have algorithm names recall measures the ability to identify all relevant instances showing how many actual positives were correctly predicted and this is f1 scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis I have F1 scores and on Y axis I have algorithm names. F1 score combines precision and recall into a single metric, balancing accuracy and completeness in predictions. So the algorithm which is best performing in all the performance metrics will be used for detections. Execution of the project. To execute this project first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is the dataset folder in which I have required dataset on which we will train the models. This is model folder in which I have model files which contain algorithm information. These files will be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the trained models. This is static folder. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. This is templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. In this folder, I have these images on which we'll make the detections. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests. interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the html pages this is notebook jupyter source file so this jupyter notebook file contains a combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place it allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science these are model files again and this is signup.db file This file is the database file used to store user information. So now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer I'm copying it. Open anaconda prompt. So now use the command cd followed by space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button. So this command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path. Now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. I'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button. So this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address, local host, and port unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. After pasting it, hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. So here we can see a sign up link. Click on it. So if you are new users, we have to register first. Fill in all these details and click on sign up button to register. And if we already have account, we can directly log in by clicking on this link. So as I already have account, I'm clicking on this link. So here we have to provide a credentials, username, and password, and click on sign in button. So it has redirected us to the detection page. So now we have to upload any place image and the application will recognize the landing place from the image 
click on choose file button so from test images folder i'm selecting this image and click on open the image is loaded now click on upload button so we can see the application has recognized the landing place that is building we'll try again click on back click on choose file button so this time i'm uploading this image and click on open the image is loaded now click on upload button this is the uploaded image and here we can see the prediction that is field so the application has recognized the landing place as field click on back click on choose file button so i'm uploading this one and click on open the image is loaded now click on upload button so we can see the prediction that is lawn so the application has recognized the landing place as lawn click on back so similarly we can upload any image and can get the landing place detections click on choose file button select any image i'm selecting this image and click on open the image is loaded now click on upload button this is the uploaded image and here we can see the prediction that is water area click on back now click on sign out so the conclusion here is the project marks a significant leap forward in drone technology by addressing the critical aspect of autonomous landing scene recognition the integration of state of the art artificial intelligence techniques including resnext 50 and resnet 50 models enhances the overall autonomy of drones by focusing on landing scene recognition the project contributes to safer and more accurate drone operations particularly in emergency situations the models developed exhibit the capability to analyze and identify suitable landing spots in real time mitigating risks associated with unforeseen conditions and the project's outcomes extend their benefits to a wide range of industries utilizing drone services including surveillance news reporting and logistics enhanced drone autonomy positively impacts emergency response teams law enforcement and the general public by ensuring reliable and secure operations The introduction of a hybrid model combining ResNext 50 and Ensemble Random Forest demonstrates a novel approach to further improving prediction accuracy. This innovative ensemble technique leverages the strengths of individual models, resulting in a more robust and accurate landing scene recognition system. And the development of a user-friendly frontend using the Flask framework ensures accessibility and ease of use. incorporating user authentication through sql lite adds an additional layer of security this implementation allows users to interact with the system seamlessly making landing scene predictions a user friendly experience thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in for updates on latest project videos Please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.